In the last episode of uh, this top channel, the overseas Filipino worker work life journey in 2024, I posted about my audio hobby, which is uh, non-standard beyond hi-fi with all those lucky charms, with the four faces Buddha, with the seven point eight two hearts, which talk about uh, like uh, the forces in the universe, uh, the spirit, uh, and the lucky charms. Uh, and you probably think that, what the hell is going on with this guy? I mean, is he nuts already? No, 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 there is a short answer. The real stuff is that uh, at my age, 50, 50 years, the, what's really the purpose of life, actually? If you're reaching this age already, you gotta ask yourself, uh, what's really the purpose of life? Uh, I mean, uh, about marriage, about procreations, about taking care of the kids, uh, about a fun and about money, 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 money. Is that all the purpose of life? Uh, the culture is that uh, with the vast information in the internet right now, you probably came across the what was the purpose of human being, why they are here on Earth. Uh, and this is really so crazy to believe that uh, human beings like me are here on Earth uh, was created as slaves. That's crazy if uh, you look into the point of the history of the Anunnaki and for Christians, for Catholics, uh, that is a different story that uh, we as a human came from the descendant of Adam and Eve. From the very start when we were kids, we were taught that our great 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 grandfathers uh, they are from Adam and Eve, but the uh, new evidence says that uh, we, I mean with a quote that uh, we came from the race uh, of a human created by the Anunnaki. Alright guys, uh, before you will react and write many things comments down below, let me tell you about the, the story which I've learned so far from uh, the time of the COVID-19 where I can't do anything going outside but just to surf in the internet and this is what I learned. Okay, so have a glass of water or beer or something, so I'll tell you a story about the Anunnaki. Well, accordingly, the Anunnaki are a race of alien from a planet that sometimes called Planet X, and they come to Earth in search for gold because they need these properties of material they need it in their planet. So they come down over here on planet Earth and they mine the gold. The problem is that uh, they don't have enough manpower, so what they had to do is to engineer a worker. That means to say, biologically engineers a worker. That means to say that uh, they created human to become their slaves, uh, to dig and uh, become the worker. That is why they engineer it according to their image. That's what they say, and do you believe that? <laughs> there is actually a challenging process on that uh, when they say that they created human according to their likes and image, which is, uh, I heard that in Genesis as well. I just can't remember which verse it is. That, like uh, God created human according to his likes and image. Uh, that sounds to be popular words in Genesis. Uh, and in the Anunnaki, the clay tablets, it is written accordingly. I cannot read it. I don't have really proof on that. But uh, according to the proponent of this clay tablet, like uh, with the late Sakayara Sitchin. So basically, the Anunnaki is, looks like us. They're handsome, probably like me, like you guys, beautiful girls. But they are taller, actually. They are much, much taller. They can be called the giant. And 
that probably the reason why in some of the publication we see giant um, and you know that uh, even in the bible now i'm not a kind of person that is expert or very very uh, knowledgeable about the bible but the bible itself which is holy it mentioned about the watchers uh, so what about these watchers uh, these watchers are they called giants uh, and uh, if I remember right, uh, they call it uh, the Nephilim, which is, uh, in fact, I don't know what is meant by that. Uh, but if you know, guys, uh, please uh, let me know on the comment below. But the fact is that uh, the Bible itself uh, wrote and mentioned about giants, which uh, they called the Nephilim, which is another proof that there were giants on those days. Uh, I remember now, I remember now that these uh, giants, they call them Nephilim, they are the fallen angels according to the Bible. And then uh, they come down to mate with human beautiful girls, you know, like uh, I can, I can deduce immediately that these fallen angels, uh, they are mania, you know, because the, they are in love, they were seduced by the beauty of these beautiful girls from earth. That's according to the Bible, you know. Uh, it's Bible, and when you know it's Bible, it's the Word of God, inspired by God. And it's a one thing that what is written in the Bible, we as a Christian, we as a believer of God, we should believe that. And all of these things, uh, the watchers, the fallen angels, uh, those maniacs who came down from the earth and made with uh, beautiful ladies from earth uh, and uh, their offsprings become giant as well. Those were all written in the Genesis. I just don't know exactly what's the verse. Uh, now this is getting crazy now because the, this is in the Bible saying about all of these things uh, and there is someone who's saying on the part of the Anunnaki which is also almost the same stories but this is what I'm seeing right now based on the research that this Anunnaki made with the beautiful women from Earth uh, and the offsprings became giant as well and it's almost the same story on the Bible about the Watchers, the Anunnaki, the Nephilim, made uh, with uh, beautiful women from Earth, uh, and uh, their offspring is also giant. The same history in a different sources, one from the Bible and one from the clay tablets the, from the Anunnaki. Now, my friends, uh, let me expand this discussion about the creation of human looking at the Anunnaki that they biologically engineered human with a limited technical know-how. That's just enough to, uh, just enough to mine the golds uh, and uh, they need to be very careful that uh, these humans will not have or not expand their technical ability higher than their creators. I can think of that, that this Anunnaki make it like a, a place safe that human will not be more intelligent than them. But if I'm going to expand that one in the way of my understanding, they limited the, the technical ability of human but what about the beauty and handsomeness of uh, the human that they created? I think that they did not limit this one. And that is why uh, the offspring of these humans, um, they become handsome and beautiful. And for the ladies, uh, they were attracted by their stunning beauties. And some of these Anunnakis, uh, were in love or interested or whatever it is. The, the short answer is uh, they are maniac and then mate with this human girls uh, and they created a spring of giants. Uh, and, you know, it mixed up already with the Anunnaki plus human race. Uh, 
they are doing all these kinds of stuff right now, like blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And you know, the governor, the governor of this Anunnaki says that, hey, what is going on right now? It's no longer of what we expected that this human is only created for digging the mines, the mining for us, and bring us the golds. It's not a part of our culture. It's not a part of our life. Why this other Anunnaki is mating with them? You know, I mean, you know, um, I told you they're mania, you know. What we can do about that if they are? And, you know, um, the governor of the Anunnaki, the governor in that place, uh, I presume to be in the Tigris and Euphrates uh, in that area, which is now called Iraq in modern days, um, he's seen that it's no longer controlled. It's something that they cannot control anymore. It's between the mating of human ladies, beautiful ladies, and the Anunnaki. That's what's been mentioned only about ladies and the Anunnaki. What about the other one? Like the ladies Anunnaki or the men? It seems it did not mention about this one. It just mentioned about the maniacism of the Anunnaki to the beautiful women, not the other way around. So the governor says, uh, it's no longer uncontrolled. We have to do something. We have to hack it because we never planned that the human, the human we created can be integrated in our way of life. And probably they got a kind of a meeting with the higher authority. Maybe they also report that into their you know, headquarters and say, they mentioned that, okay, this is unacceptable. So we need to eliminate uh, this kind of happenings. And that is the reason why, you know, that uh, there is what we call the, the destructions of human being, destructions of this uh, giant. One of the governor also disagreed that they're going to vanish the creation. And uh, he prefer this, uh, uh, this uh, specific person he secretly saved this person that uh, will going to continue the procreations the, and continue the human race, uh, the slave that they created. And that is the history on the part of the Anunnaki. And you know that uh, there is also a similar history on the part of the Bible. And we know already that history is very, very popular. We call it the Noah and the Great Flood, which um, banish all the sinners uh, at that time with the Great Flood. You know, again, guys, uh, this is uh, two histories, uh, one from the Anunnaki, from the clay tablets, uh, another one from the Holy Bible in Genesis. Again, which one? Which one? Same story. Now, cut it short, cut it short. What is something you do with me and uh, my work as an overseas Filipino worker? I don't understand the concept that why human being must work, must work for a boss. Why can you not just live as freely as the bird? I mean, uh, why do you need to pay taxes? Uh, why do you need to work uh, from 8 o'clock to seven o'clock every day? I mean, uh, why? Why is it like that? We should be enjoying all the masterpiece of gods in here, the benefits of being a human. We were created as the most intelligent of all the creations or created by God, if you believe that way, which is, I believe it because I'm a Christian, I'm a Catholic, and I believe that way. The question is that uh, what I'm doing here in mainland China, in the communist country, working, working as a slave, uh, slave to the company, uh, solving problem, solving problem, solving problem. I am just like, uh, I am just like uh, the human person that created by the Anunnaki to mine gold, sir. I'm a slave. I'm 
a demonstration of being a slave to a foreign countries in a communist country like China, an overseas Filipino worker. According to the report that I read, it says also that uh, the Anunnaki introduced a systems of like a government. Uh, they introduced about business. Uh, they also introduced about agriculture. And, and it's almost the same way that uh, we have right now in our, um, in our system. We got a government, we got bank, we got uh, many things, irrigation, scientific, so on and so forth. Uh, so looking at this information from uh, this kind of clay tablet, which is, uh, they were not uh, written in the Holy Bible. It's very convincing that uh, this uh, Anunnaki were actually molding us uh, into what their system is uh, that uh, currently right now, we are also implementing in here. And of course, uh, probably at the time they pay taxes as well like what we're doing right now, pay taxes, high taxes. Well, my friends, uh, with this history from the Anunnaki or the history from the Bible, where the human being really came from, I don't know which one you believe it. Uh, and you just don't believe what I say. I'm just only sharing to you what I've learned, what is really the purpose of life, why we are here, the purpose of human, why we are here on Earth, uh, looking at the uh, scientific research, archaeological research um, versus the religious one in the Holy Bible. It's up to you guys. But uh, again, if you reach the age uh, nearly 60s and you are already at the um, low battery, you're almost, you know, you're almost there and uh, you've got to ask the question like what I had right now. And as a finale, guys, uh, I hope that I don't uh, disturb your faith. I don't um, get you angry. Instead, uh, I give you something to think about it uh, between the real purpose of human being, why they are here on Earth, uh, and between uh, this uh, to history from the Anunnaki and from the Adam and Eve from the Bible. Well, it's up to you. Your faith will go into emerge and will tell you which one the human being really came from.